Stay out. The plants kill. I don't think Bob can read. Although I suppose he has to, to be able to pass on information like he already has. So I guess you can probably read with an intelligence of one. Because he did read something and then tell the super mutant about it. But I guess Bob can read. Stop. Stop the outside of using a different outfit to cover distance, you have to actually remember to switch back. Uppercut. I thought I heard the cat at the door, but knew. No. Very dramatic camera. Ah, yes. Enter Vault 22. Stored terminal, Vault 22, Interlab Network, Main Entrance, Security Station, System um, Integrity Compromise, Authorized Unauthorized Login, Detect a Ship, Vault 22 Expedition, Entry 1. I've established a temporary camp inside the entrance of the vault. Power inside is minimal, but still running, and I've managed to track to hack into one of their security terminals. The logs show that several people have entered the vault over the past few months, but none have left. It's getting late, so I'll resume the expedition in the morning. Keely out. Expedition entry two. The growth in the interior matches the exterior to a T. It's a little surprising given the scarcity of sunlight in the entrance room, but even more surprising is that they seem to originate from further below. Maybe that fool Hildern was onto something after all. Since my pit boy is on the fritz, I'll try to keep a running log of my discoveries in whatever computers I can find and collate the data before leaving. No way is Bob smart enough to fix the elevator. Yeah, repair 50 required. Okay, entry 3. This level seems to have been devoted to the study of atmospheric effects on plants, with a concentration on producing plants with a high oxygen yield. Given the problems these vaults were known to have, it sounds like a reasonable avenue of research. Entry 4. It's strange, but some sections of the machinery down here appear to have been modified for some unknown purpose. The restraints regarding oxygen content and sy systemic pressure have been bypassed. Entry 5. I've been hearing a strange chittering sound for some time now, and finally discovered its source. There's some kind of giant mantises that have taken up residence in the vault. I almost ran smack into one the other day, but the creatures don't appear to react to my presence at all. Perhaps the others sent here ran afoul of the creatures, but I can't see how a few scattered insects could pose much of a problem to experienced mercs. Food production. I saw that. This is a spore carrier. Entry 6. I've finally found some of the bodies of the scientists that lived here. They appear to be overgrown with some form of lichen. They blend in so well with the other growth that I walked right by several of them without even noticing them. 
I've taken the proper precautions, but the lichen doesn't seem to be contagious, at least to ghouls. Entry 7. This level appears to be where they performed most of the research NCR is interested in. I've been able to collect a little, but the vast majority of the data from the research done here is inaccessible. I'll have to find the main backup and download it from there. Okay, so this one... Memory has been corrupted, three messages received. These ones are from before Keeley. Assistant Mathers went into the caves at 1846 today and still hasn't returned, requesting security escort for science personnel to conduct a search. Medical emergency. We need a medical team up here now. Dr. Peters just returned with one of the security escorts who was horribly wounded. When I asked him where the other security officer was, he just paled and shook his head. In the meantime, Dr. Bailey has ordered that the door to the caves be sealed until a further investigation can take place. Help. Is anyone down there? Security is trying to hold off the well, I don't know what how they're trying what they're trying to hold off. Please send security up at once. With Dr. Bailey watching over his sick wife and daughter in their quarters down in the common area, I'm officially in charge of the level, and I'm requesting security at once. This is why I've been swinging at all the bushes. Quite often, I notice them, but sometimes, I don't. Warning, blah blah blah, status report 9228. Yields continue to improve. Splicing together cultivator GN188 with the existing corn samples had produced a hybrid that responds better to the artificial lights we have. On a side note, Dr. Peters has missed his third straight day due to illness. His work ethic hasn't exactly been stellar to this point, so I'm requesting confirmation from the clinic that he is, in fact, sick. Status Report 9253 On a lark, the guys down in pest control sent up a sam sample of a substance one of their specimens secretes to attract insects. Tests show that the substance has a mood-altering effects on smaller mammals. If anyone volunteers, we can begin human testing soon. Quite a number of the staff have begun to show symptoms of some sort of viral infection. I've begun to order them to stay in bed and recover, but at this rate there won't be anyone left to do research. Status Report 9312 Not much to report today. The mood is unusually somber in the wake of Dr. Peter's passing. There's a strange rumor going around that the commotion downstairs was caused by, of all things, Dr. Peter's corpse suddenly animating and attacking people. I don't know who would start such a vicious rumor, but it's in exceptionally bad taste. Punch the bush. gained a level. You know what? I feel like more sneak would be nice right right at this particular moment in time when I'm using it. So let's go with that. Ah, unlock crew quarters, unlock data at backup, unlock cavern access. Override engaged at door site. See, with the spore carriers, it's not too bad because they don't have ranged attacks. You have gained the Lord Death perk. I think that's just a damage bonus.
You gain damage bonus against everything because you like killing everything. Yes. Ticket one, strange noises. Noises in the vent. Action, sent a team to inspect. Results, source of problem not detected. Ticket two, gas leak? Reports a possible gas leak. Several people have complained of coughing fits and other respiratory symptoms. Action, complete diagnostic of air circulation system. Result, discovered minor discrepancies in the mass of the air being pumped through the vault, but no harmful gases were detected. Also, a strange residue was detected on the air filters, which has been forwarded for identification. Swapped out the filters, just in case. Now they're just zapping each other. And here's a flamer. And flamer fuel. And more flamer fuel. And a barricaded door. These both- okay. Clinic first, then quarters. Case 162. Patient Peters Harrison T. Condition? Dr. Peters is suffering from a severe case of pneumonia, the result of the spread of some sort of microorganism in his lungs. I've applied the usual treatment and requested that he refrain from working and stop by twice a day for observation. Case 164, group. Patients Mitchell, Pam, Cordella, Horton, Samwise, Fujimoto, Derrida, Kenneth. Fujimoto, Naoki, anyway. Update, this entire group showed up throughout the course of the day displaying the same symptoms. They're remarkably similar to Dr. Peter's condition when he first came in a week ago. I hope we don't have a contagion on our hands. Case 162 update. Dr. Peters isn't responding to the treatment or, more accurately, his body is actively rejecting the treatment. His condition has worsened and I'm on the cusp of ex ordering exploratory surgery. Case 173, group. Patients, Bailey, Elizabeth, Bailey, Marcia, Garfield, Hayes, Amy, Herman, Jenkins, Veronica, Key Keys, James, Kirkpatrick, lot of names, update. <clears throat> Another group with the chills, a fever, and a terrible racking cough. I'm recommending that they be separated from the general populace. Case 162 update. Dr. Peters is dead. His vitals flatlined 10 minutes before he entered surgery. I decided to perform an autopsy immediately and discovered his lungs were filled with some sort of fungal infection. Strangely, the fungus still shows evidence of growth despite the death of its host. I'll consult with one of the mycologists on the fifth level and see if they can identify it. Case 162. Update. I don't really know how to describe what just happened. One minute, I was closing up for the day, and the next Dr. Peter's corpse sat up and attacked me. I was able to flee to the office and seal him, it, inside until security arrived. But what the hell is going on, if all the recent illnesses are the same thing? There was another one. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Oh, up there. Oh, it's a plant. Okay, we gotta hurry here.
I eat some food, get my health back up a bit. Hmm? Hello, Stern. Uh, Fallout's treating me all right. We're dealing with some totally normal plants and regular sized mantises. Nothing strange going on at all. Totally normal day in the post apocalypse. I think there are a bunch of plants in the next place we need to be. And the plants can spit at us, so that's going to be annoying. But I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, just mantises. I did... Uh-oh. My leg! I need that. They chopped my leg off. I think I just saved. Okay, maybe I should be a little more careful with the mantises. Might be worth putting on the flamer. Rude. Oh, you can't aim down with this thing. Come up here. I can't hit you on a slope. There we go. Like, there might still be another one around the corner. Species 1. BE908, a distant relative of the more commonly known Venus flytrap, species BE908 seems to be performing well. The plants here are, are the plants are a threat to creatures up to five times their size due to the violent nature of their closing maws. Those that aren't swallowed whole are often incapacitated by their initial bite. The plant's lack of mobility is offset by their ability to lure prey into reach by means of a nectar they secrete from their bodies. Species 2. Mantis religiosa. Of all the species we brought with us, the common mantis exceeds the rest in terms of predation. The insects are voracious, and their camouflage allows them to attack their prey by surprise. Also, they complement our bot botanical specimens by hunting down those pests that avoid or escape our other measures. Lastly, mantises will begin to cannibalize one another when other food is scarce, making their numbers self-regulating when prey is scarce. Species 3. Buvera morticana, an en entomopathogenetic fungit fungus, B. morticana has been developed to colonize the bodies of most common pests. Once it has fully colonized a host body, the host technically dies, but the body continues to move by means of the fungal colony within it. In this manner, the fungus moves amongst more of its prey, occasionally spraying spores in a radius around the host body, infecting all who come near it. Its drawbacks include the time it takes to kill prey, 10 to 20 days, and its limited effectiveness when dealing with unsocial pests. Doing all right, punching my way through a vault. Precaution punch. Oh. 
Hello, spore plant. Ah, uh, Fallout 3 is all right. Ah, uh, well, I mean, Fallout 3 is playable. <laughs> Download research data. All right. So technically, I'm done my quest here. Looking for Keeley is optional. I will still give it a go. But I'm not super confident in Bob's ability to deal with Keeley in a way that doesn't end up with Bob or Keeley dead. Oh yeah, you can jump on bugs to damage them. Oh, if you're not already mostly dead. Whoopsie. Let's see. I think I have a super stim pack. I do. Can't do anything about the crippled limb, but I can, you know, probably live long enough to punch these guys. Okay, so we have a crippled limb. Although it won't be too obvious while we're sneaking around. Could still be a problem. Called. Eh. The weird thing would be how it handled the transition between New Vegas and DC, because I don't think those are really places that are super close together. I haven't checked on a map recently, but I think there's some distance between Nevada and Washington. So this place is full of um, monsters, essentially. Do I have any throwable bombs? I do! I have frag grenades! Yay! Effective. You can only target things you know for sure are there. So if there are more spore dudes hiding. Uh, okay. Hello, Matesha. Welcome, and thank you for using the check-in. Okay, it's over there, and it says I have zero chance to hit. I'm throwing a grenade anyway. Hit something. Yeah, I friend the mantis. Game might say you have zero chance to hit, but it forgets that frag grenades bounce. Thank you for the follow, E. Johnson. Now that I'm down here, I ah. Believe in you, frag. I was right to believe in you. Although I don't think it killed it. Again, it just like hurt it really badly. Oh, and I'm out of frags. Kettlebarra. Or no. Neighbor. Okay, so I can aim down if I'm standing up, but not if I'm crouching. Oh, shit. Leave me alone, I'm reloading. Oh, I'm mostly dead. <sighs> These bastards do some decent damage. I may not be able to find Keeley. Right, if there are more moving enemies that... Yep. Flamer's not doing great. But I mostly want it for the mantises. Because they're tedious to punch.
And I think we're mostly down to the spore carriers now. Okay, it looks like it's mostly just the spore plants left. There she is. I forgot. Oh, zero chance to hit. Really? When I'm right behind it, I had zero, ch zero chance to hit. Oh well. I'm glad none of my frag grenades bounced over here and hit Keeley. She might have been upset about that. Hanging out back here with the mantis eggs. How are you? No, I don't want to... Took your sweet time. I suppose the NCR sent you. Yes, Angela... Well... Yeah, Angela Williams asked me to come find you. Oh, she's such a dear. Not like that pompous little pedant she works for. But that's neither here nor there. These plants have gotten completely out of control. I've got a plan to deal with them, but I'll need your help. How much are you paying? So... You're one of those, huh? Fine. I'll give you all the money I have once we're done. So. I didn't get all of the plants out of her way. Damn, she's fast. But they ignore her and attack me when I come nearby, of course. Why would they do anything else? I love how I can suddenly walk fine as soon as I bring my fists up for punching. This vault tech machinery is so fragile. I had to jury rig this elevator a few days, and it's on the fritz again already. Ah, oh, that's got it. Okay. So the local maps in this game has the same problem as the local maps in Sky. Oh, there she is. Being that they show multiple levels at one. But hello, Keely. Hey, good, you're here. Ready to begin? How can I help? Time is of the essence, so I'll be brief. This place is filled with spores that are toxic to humans, and we need to get rid of them. I've pumped the vault full of a highly flammable gas that, once ignited, should destroy the vast majority of spores. There's oh. one problem, though. The gas becomes semi-inert on exposure to oxygen, meaning the gas will have to be ignited close to where it's being introduced. I did. I you to find the vents where the gas is being pumped and ignited. Oh, and survive the resulting blast. In the area where the gas is active, any kind if you don't have any Okay, even a laser would do the job. Okay. Good. Okay, so this um This is probably gonna get us killed. <laughs> but we'll attempt to do it her way at least once. She is right about destroying the spores. Bob dumb help Bob do thing. I suppose you have questions. Uh, boop -a -doop -a -doop. And what? If you could seal yourself inside a room before the explosion went off. But again, the flames right. Well, okay. I think I need to go down to where the mainframe was. The worst part about this quest is because. Going back with the information and helping Keeley are part of the same quest. Having them on means having two quest markers that are pointing to different parts of the vault on. Alright, we're gonna save here because this is a very easy place to die. No, that only affects the lock. This is the button to close the door. Might 
not be able to shoot. Okay, she was wrong about a laser doing it, I think. Or I'm just not close enough? Ah, uh, you know, I've done it from the mainframe room in the past, but that's really hard to survive. Oh, yep, nope. <laughs> so, <clears throat> a delayed explosive would be better, but I did already use up all my frag grenades. All right, we'll try things with a couple other weapons, see if we can pull this off. I am not. There it goes. <laughs> Didn't close the door fast enough, though. I'm going to try shooting from here and then running away into the cave. Don't know if it'll work, but I'm going to try it. It does not work. Uh, all right, I'll blow myself up like one more time and then I'll just leave. Bob may not have the right weapons or skills for this. Close it. Yeah, we're gonna leave. <laughs> Unless I find a grenade, I'm not gonna be able to get this done right Go back up with the research data, and Keeley can be miffed or try to blow herself up to get rid of it if she really wants to. She locked us in! Keeley. You have angered Bob. Hey. I suppose you have questions. Why is the door to the entrance locked? Are you kidding me? This place is under quarantine. We can't let a single spore get out of this place if we can help it. But I assume she has the key. Like, no, Keely, you cannot just lock Bob in with you and make him do your dirty work. Bob, go. There. Now that I have her password, I can just open the door from here. Okay. Just had to use her terminal. Okay. 